Over 300 years ago, a scientist named Sir Isaac Newton discovered a huge thing about rainbows. Rainbows are formed when sunlight is refracted by a prism or something that acts like a prism. Let me show you. When the sunlight or white light shines through the prism, it is refracted or separated into all the colors of the rainbow. Roy G. Bibb. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own rainbow at home without a fancy prism. All you need is a mirror and a bowl of water. Place your mirror in your bowl of water and angle it towards the sun. Then your rainbow should appear. Next, grab a CD and angle it towards the sun. Look at the pretty rainbow. And lastly, grab the hose. Have fun making your own rainbows at home and have fun learning. Bye! Today on Science with D, we're gonna grow a rainbow. For this experiment, you'll need water, two glasses, a paper towel, and Crayola markers. First, fill both of your glasses three-fourths the way with water. Next, we're gonna cut our paper towel in half. For this experiment, you're gonna need every color of the rainbow. Color a rainbow pattern on both ends of your paper towel. Now to grow our rainbow. Place each end into your water. You'll notice your ink starting to spread as the water molecules move up your paper towel. This happens because of a process called capillary action. This allows the water to be absorbed through the paper towel, causing the ink to spread, just like when a tree absorbs water to take it up its stem to its leaves. Look at that! We grew a rainbow! Try it at home and have fun learning. Bye! What's more fun than rainbows and bubbles? Well, today on Science with You, we're gonna do one of my favorite experiments, rainbow bubbles. First, pour out some baking soda. Now add some drops of food coloring. To make our bubbles, we're gonna do a simple acid and base chemical reaction. When baking soda, a base, mixes with an acid like vinegar, it creates a chemical reaction. Safety first. Now for the fun part. Using a pipette, squirt some vinegar onto your baking soda. <gasps> Rainbow bubbles! Or if you want a bigger reaction, dump it all in! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Try it at home and have fun learning. Bye! I caught a leprechaun! Today on Science with D, we're gonna help our little leprechaun friend reach his pot of gold. For this experiment, you're gonna need some string, a straw, some tape, and your leprechaun. First tape two pieces of straw parallel to each other on one side of your leprechaun. Cut your string about 10 feet long. Then thread the ends of your string through the straws of your leprechaun. Hang the looped end of your string by the pot of gold. Pull the strings out to the sides back and forth and watch them climb. how does it work? When you pull outward on the strings, it creates friction between the straw and the string, helping your leprechaun climb. When we bring our strings parallel with the straws, there's less friction, causing our leprechaun to fall. Have fun making your own climbing leprechaun and have fun learning. Bye!